Hey, this is Clayton with Everything Ponds, and today I just want to give you a quick overview on the RPE liners. So RPE stands for Reinforced Polyethylene. Uh, these are our premium grade RPE liners, and the premium grade means it's all North American made. Uh, this is opposed to Chinese or Indian RPEs, which sometimes we'll bring in and call them economy grade. The premium grade is just a higher quality, has better quality control, uh, better, better stats all around, and just more reliable for long-term water containment. We have three different thicknesses of RPE available. So we have a 24 mil, a 30 mil, and a 40 mil. The 30 mil is our regular strength. The 40 mil is a double reinforced extra strength. And then we have the 24 mil more as a budget strength. Um, they all come in black. And the nice thing about RPE is that it's, it's very lightweight. And so that's the advantage over a lot of the other liners, in addition to it being quite a bit more puncture resistant. So you compare it to like EPDM, it's a third the weight and um, like about two or three times, up to four times in the case of the 40 mil, stronger. One thing to mention about the various thicknesses of liner is as you go up in thickness, you also get a little bit of extra stiffness. So the 30 mil is kind of our go-to liner. The 24 actually is just a little bit more bendable. Uh, the 40 mil, because it's more reinforced, uh, two layers of reinforcing, it's actually the stiffest. So if you are doing something that requires a lot of folding and bending, the 30 mil or the 30 mil laminated might be a better choice. Uh, you know, but the 40 mil, you could still get it in there. It's just a little stiffer. Uh, or if you're doing a larger area, the 40 mil is great as well. So the way these liners are made, they're actually made with three layers. In the middle is a reinforcing scrim, and that gives it the strength. And then on each side, it's coated with polyethylene. So it's a three layer system. In the case of the 40 mil, it's actually five layer system. That's why you get the extra strength. And the advantage of this is we can actually heat weld polyethylene. So we can make any size panel in a single piece for you at our facility and then ship it to you. So you know you want a 230 foot liner by 230 foot, we can make that, put it on a pallet and ship it to you. Or if you just want a small one, like a 10 by 10, we can make that as well. Um, over 12 feet, uh, there will be manufactured seams in it, but they're all fully warrantied, high quality seams. As well, uh, another benefit to RPE is it's NSF 61 certified. So what does that mean? It just means it's safe for drinking water. It's the best rating a liner can get. Therefore, it follows it's safe for fish, it's safe for farming, it's safe for any kind of hydroponics or aquaponics. Basically, no, not, no chemicals are gonna leach out of the liner into the water. So one of the disadvantages of RPE, it's a little bit stiffer to work with compared to something like EPDM rubber, which is very bendy and very stretchy. But EPDM isn't very puncture resistant. So this is gonna be about three times stronger. However, a little bit stiffer to work with, usually not a big deal in most cases. Um, you can still cut it just like a normal liner. Um, you can still install it on skimmers or you can cut to install bulkhead fittings or bottom drains, no problem with this liner. So another advantage of RPE is oftentimes you don't even need the underlayment. You can go right over any smooth surface, no problem. Uh, say sand, smooth soil, something like uh, grass or dirt. As long as there's no rocks in the soil, you just go right over top of it. With EPDM, uh, in order to even get a warranty in most cases, you have to use underlayment. So that's an added cost for EPDM. Um, you can use the underlayment as well for the RPE though in certain set situations that do uh, warrant a little extra protection. Like let's say you're going over some rough concrete, over some soil with a little bit of maybe crushed gravel in it. So it's nice to have a little bit of extra protection in those situations. The RPE liners are actually quite UV stable as well, uh, especially compared to some other materials like PVC which break down really quick uh, in UV. So all the RPE liners have at least a 20 year warranty if they're fully covered. Uh, the 24 and the 30 have a 20 year warranty and the 40 actually jumps up to a 25 year warranty if it's fully covered. That means there's no UV getting at the liner. If you are in a situation maybe on an irrigation pond or a situation where you don't, you're not covering the liner for whatever reason and maybe the liner will be exposed part of the year, um, the 24 and 30 mil liners have a 10 year warranty in that situation. Uh, and then we also have a 30 mil laminated. So we actually put a laminated coating on top. Now that bumps the 30 mil up to a 20 year warranty. And so the 40 mil also has a 20 year warranty. So if you are um, exposing the liner to sun and it's not a short term thing, uh, we would recommend the 30 mil laminated or the 40 mil. 
So because of all the advantages of RPE, it gets used in all kinds of different situations. Anytime you need to contain water or keep water out of something, waterproofing, dam proofing, anything like that, uh, because it doesn't leach chemicals into the water, it's a, it's a great option for a lot of things. Things like ponds, lakes, fountains, aquaponics, farming. Um, we've even used some in movie sets. Uh, they get used as tarps, weed barriers, all kinds of different things. Um, so if you want to talk about your project and whether this is a good option for you, for you feel free to give us a call. Um, we're happy to talk about it. And thanks for checking out this video.